Public Academy of Arts. Hi, I'm Molly. And I'm Jasmine. And, and this, this is your Phoenix Vision News for March 9th. We hope you had a wonderful weekend. High school scheduling will be this Thursday during fourth hour. All four high schools will be here, and Ms. Carleo will have a list going out today on which high school you're enrolled to. Get ready, eighth graders. We're growing up. Now let's go over to John interviewing Ms. Carleo on high school scheduling. Hello, Phoenix. I'm here today interviewing Ms. Carleo about high school scheduling. So, Ms. Carleo, when are the high school schedulers coming? Um, the high school counselors will be here on March 12th to schedule all of our eighth graders for high school. Sounds good. And uh, how do eighth graders get uh, scheduled? Well, I need all eighth graders to know that whichever high school you're planning on attending, you do need to fill out a school choice application if that's not the school you're planning on going to. For instance, right now, you may live in Central's area, so that's the high school that you're rolled to. But if you're planning on going to South, your parents do need to complete the school choice application, which they can find online on the Pueblo City Schools website. It's a yellow tab that says school choice. Thank you for letting us know that information, and that's very helpful, and now back to you in the studio. Thank you, John, and thank you, Ms. Carleo. March 23rd will be the start of spring break. The end of third quarter is the 19th. Make sure to have all your work in. Now let's go over to Haley interviewing Miss Winchell on her class's art integration project. Hello Phoenix, I'm Haley and today we'll be interviewing Miss Winchell about the integration art projects. What is an integration art project? So an integration art project is when you are looking at any sort of topic, in this case history, in a different manner. So you're not just being tested on it, you're actually recreating the art from the historical moment. That's cool. How many projects has your class done so far? I think you guys have done about five or six now. I think this is your sixth one this year, and the bigger ones are, they're just going to start getting bigger as we move on to the next couple months. What project are your classes doing now? Um, right now they're doing the Greek myth plates, where they are recreating ancient mythological plates like the ancient Greeks in the same pattern where they're poking in images. They're using only black, orange, and white, just like the ancient Greeks would have done. Okay, thank you, Ms. Winchell. Now back to you, Molly and Jasmine. Thank you, Haley, and thank you, Ms. Winchell. Now let's go over to Sierra on the sidewalk. Hello, Phoenix. I'm Sierra coming at you with this week's episode of Sierra on the Sidewalk. And today, don't tell anybody, but we're going to be calling teachers by their first names. Are you ready? Let's go. So, Brian, what's your opinion on Pinalistificus? I don't really have an opinion on that. I don't even know what that is. Yeah. So, no opinion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunate. No hey, opinion. Stephanie. What's your opinion on the Second Amendment? What did you just, did you just call me Stephanie? Hey Russ. Thank you, Sierra. And shout out to the teachers for having a great sense of humor. Phoenix, your books are on sale. You can order them in the office for $25. You can also order them online through the PA website. Now let's see what's up with this week's sports. Hi, I'm Eve. And I'm Brooklyn. And, and this, this is Phoenix Vision Sports. sports. Track will start to the 30th. Make sure you have your physical, the packet, and the fee of $50. Good job, girls. Basketball last Wednesday, we won against Heaton. Girls basketball also had a game Thursday. Fought hard but lost. Good season, girls. Clearing for spring sports starts today. Let's go over to David interviewing Mr. Ariaga. Hi, I'm David. I'm here with Mr. Ariaga talking about track. So when do you need to have your papers turned in? So paperwork needs to be turned in uh, Thursday. Uh, March 19th, which is the day before we go on spring break. And so that gives um, athletes about two weeks to get those turned in. And what do you need to turn in? Uh, so athletes need to turn in um, their um, clearance papers, as well as a physical from their doctor. And then there is a uh, $50 fee that they need to pay as well. How long is the track season? Um, track usually lasts about a month. Uh, it does depend on whether you qualify for a city county or the city meet, but around a month. And when is the first practice? Uh, first practice will be Monday, March 30th, which is the first Monday um, right after spring break. You're here to hear. Now back to the studio. Thank you, David. That's all for this week. Go, go Phoenix, fire hard, and let's bring home the winds. Now let's go see what's up with this week's weather. What? You don't like my weather jokes? You know they're the highest form of comedy, right? Well, you know what? It's double the jokes. Can bees fly in the rain? Not without their yellow jackets. <laughs> On my visit to Chicago, the weather forecast said it was muggy out. The weather forecast was right. I went outside and someone stole my shoes. <laughs> and now it's time for the weather. We start this week with a high of 70 and a low of 34. It will be partly sunny and mainly clear at night. 
Uh, Tuesday, the temperature will increase with a high of 72 and a low of 38. It will be warm with times of clouds and sun. Wednesday will have a high of 62 and a low of 36. There will be like a 20% chance of rain. Probably won't have to deal with any. Uh, Thursday has a high of 68 and a low of 27. It will be mostly cloudy that day. This will be a pretty good week as we start to see more spring. So stay safe, have fun, and enjoy the weather. Tune next week for the weekly weather. Now let's see what's going on with Michael and Gigi with the Rise of Phoenix. And may the force be with you. Thank you, Colby. What's up, Phoenix? I'm Gigi. And I'm Michael. And, and this, this is, is the Rise of the Phoenix. Phoenix. We hope you're having an amazing day. Hey, Michael, did you know that there will be a concert here at PAA tomorrow? Really? Who will be performing? Mr. B's beginning, concert, and jazz band. That sounds amazing. Show up you who like to see a great performance. There will be a My Life field trip that Tuesday as well. Now let's see what's up with Shanae on this week's Rising Phoenix. Hello everybody, I'm Shanae with this week's Rising Phoenix, Alexia. So Alexia, what's your favorite thing about PAA? Uh, my favorite thing about PAA are the teachers. What's your goals for this quarter? Uh, my goals for this quarter are to get all A's and B's. And lastly, how do you rise? I rise by staying tucked in and respecting what the teachers ask for. Now back to you in the studio. Thank you, Shanae, and keep on rising, Alexia. There will be a beginning and advanced orchestra concert this Thursday. Remember, students, quarter three ends on March 20th. Make sure to turn your missing work and key your grades up. You can rise this week by being kind. You can make somebody's day better with just a few kind words. At the rise, I'm Michael. And I'm Gigi. Have a bopping week, Phoenix. And back to you, Molly and Jasmine. Thank you, Gigi and Michael. Now let's go to lunch with Jamie. Hi, I'm Jamie Pearson. Today I'll be bringing you your lunch menu for this week. We floated taco boats today. Tomorrow I'll be having chicken tenders. Wednesday will be tamales, Mr. Vina's favorite to unwrap. Thursday breakfast for lunch. Purple Days pizza is available. Silver Days spicy chicken. Remember that the Fresh Express bar is open all week. Word on the street is that ripe cranberries bounce. Imagine that. <laughs> And always remember to thank your lunch people. I'm Jamie, and that's your lunch menu for this week. See you later. Now back to you in the studio. Thank you, Jamie. Sounds delicioso. With Phoenix Vision, I'm Jasmine. And I'm Molly. Have a fabulous, wild, and wonderful week. This is the new computer Apple has released. It's called the Throwback. It's one of a kind. It must be really good. I don't know how the to open it. Oh my Jesus. This thing.